Welcome to Burt Ridgeway's Learning for Life. This is Lesson 2, Part 2 of She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain in the series of Learning a Tune from Scratch. Last week, we taught you the basic melody, but more important than even teaching that basic melody, we took the first phrase of the song and gave you tips and hints of how to pick things out by ear. And then I encouraged you to pick out the rest of the tune by ear. Whether you succeeded in doing that, whether you were able to do that at this point does not matter at all. Whether you attempted it does make a difference, and that is important, and I hope you did it. But whether you did or not, I hope you took tunes like Mary Hello Lamb, Three Blind Mice. Before you practice every day, just pick out a, a tune and then write the name of the tune down and go over it again and again. And soon you're going to start hearing your instrument rather than just seeing your instrument. It's going to open up doors of freedom for you. So we're not reteaching uh, the tune today. What we are going to do is talk about droning, but droning on the fly. Here's what I mean by that. If you were taking the tune. Bum, 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 bum. What if you went ba da 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 what if you went bum 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 sorry bum 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 that's three different ways from the original two from the original what if you went bum 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 What if he went ba da da ba dum bum 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 ba ba dum bum? I'm not sure I'm following these exactly. Bum 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 ba ba da ba da da bum bum ba ba dum bum. And all I'm doing is matching, and 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 you could do hundreds of different rhythms like that. Ba ba dum ba ba dum bum ba ba da ba da ba dum ba ba da ba dum bum ba ba da. I kind of messed that up, but you see what I'm doing. So what I want you to do, and I'm going to play through it. I'm going to give you some ideas, but I want you to just, when you're not practicing, or even pause for a little bit, and figure out in your head and just start singing it differently. Try to do different rhythms. Sorry. So, if you notice, because I'm thinking, I'm not playing it as clear as, and I know the tune. You know, I can play the tune, but I'm thinking. Now, at the beginning, you do have to think, you know, but it's going to, it's, it's going to mess you up. And here's why I'm telling you that. When we mess up, we beat ourselves up. When we mess up, and, and I'm just going to give you an example. Um, I'm, I'm taking Spanish lessons uh, on an, a telephone app called uh, Duolingo, Duolingo. And a few things about that. When I mess up, you know, and, and I mess up, you know, they test you constantly. That's kind of what you're doing is you, everything is a test. And when I mess up, no, I don't like messing up. Man, I wish I could just zip all through them. Uh, and there are certain places I do, but then I get to a certain area with tenses and I just mess up and I mess up. And every time I mess up, I don't beat myself up. I do do this. I look at the answer and I think, okay, I need to fix this mistake. There are times I've done the same sentence four or five times and I keep making the same mistake. Some of them are stupid mistakes. Some of them are legitimate mistakes. The thing is, I'm using that to learn. 
If you're not willing to make a mistake, you're not willing to learn. If you're not comfortable with being able to make a mistake without beating yourself up, you're not willing to really learn. When you make a mistake, that's an opportunity to correct the mistake. It's an opportunity to do it again and do it right. And aren't you glad we have a thousand, a thousand times to fix mistakes? You know, it's not three strikes and you're out. You, you could take as much time as you want, but you want to work on it. So one of the things you notice is I went up here instead of over here just to try it. Um, but let's play it again and just take as many different ways. Bum 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 ba dum ba bum bum. Let's try that. Bum 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 ba dum bum bum bum. Let's try ba ba dum bum ba ba dum bum ba ba dum bum ba ba dum bum 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 ba da ba da ba dum. Now you want to kind of do that before you're playing it. Let's try bum 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 ba ba dum bum. Bum 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 ba ba da ba bum 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 ba ba da da ba ba da ba bum ba ba da ba da bum 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 ba ba da ba da ba bum ba ba. Sorry. There it is. So one of the things this will do once you start playing it without thinking. Okay, so I probably don't know quite as well as I should. These aren't, you know, I, I just did this. This is the first time I've really been playing this on here. Uh, I picked it up by ear, but you see the process. All right, so all I want you to do this week is work on different rhythm patterns to change your tune. And the way you figure out those rhythm patterns is use your own imagination. Use whatever you want to do. But this will, when you do it... So here's what else I would do, because that's the part I'm messing up on is that second half. And so you understand, I'm being very honest with you. A lot of teachers would not do this. They would not do this. You need to remember, and, and I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I'm just going to give you my opinion here. But there are some teachers who cannot teach beginners. And to me... I'm not sure that's really what a good teacher is um, because they have forgotten the initial struggle. They have forgotten what it's like to learn. Um, and I remember, man, I still remember. I still, I'm learning new things. I'm still struggling with different things. Uh, with Spanish, I mean, I'm struggling with it. Uh, and if somebody speaks fluent Spanish, they might not have patience for somebody who, who, is just learning. I hope that makes sense to you. So I'm showing you my mistakes and I'm leaving them in on purpose. So I said, I know this part well. Okay, so I found it. This is where I was messing up. So you would stop and work on that. So that's all I want you to do this week. I hope this all makes sense to you. Uh, take your time. Learn it slow. Learn it well. Patrons, thank you for giving. Thank you for supporting this work. Thank you for making these lessons available to everyone. If you're watching these lessons, it's because there are those who are giving back, those who are supporting this work. 
when you become a patron, uh, entry level of patron uh, patronage <laughs> is $5. You will receive a sticker that says, I support traditional music. Uh, it's a very nice sticker, actually. It looks great on your car, especially if you have tinted windows. Um, you also get a one-hour live stream workshop that we get together once a month on Zoom. We have the workshop, or right now we're doing a teaching jam. We get together, we talk, we chat, we get to see each other. It's a lot of fun. And then more important than that, you are investing in your own learning process. When you invest in your own learning process, you learn better, you learn well, and you're keeping these lessons free and available for everyone. So I hope you're enjoying them. Work on this. Have fun with it. Don't forget to pick out little tunes by ear. And, uh, you know, my job, uh, if I have a job, my job is to work myself out of a job. It's to teach you to do these things so that you're not constantly taking lessons, and this is going to help. So thank you all. We'll see you next week. God bless.